Welcome to, to the, the making, making of the video. Hey, I'm Joe Yurcho. I'm Gretchen Ralph. And we are both uh, actors, I guess, in this movie video that we put together for one of my songs called Hey. Uh, this is Toby and myself over at Gretchen's place putting together the props for the video. The video required a lot of hand making. This is a rocket ship we're working on. There is a part in the song that the character is trying to catch up with this girl that keeps running away from him and he's just not fast or smart enough to get her so he's relying on gadgets and a rocket ship with a GPS is one of the gadgets. If you see that folded piece of cardboard on there that's where the GPS map is placed. Right now riding in the rocket is one of the characters named Stan. I'll talk about Stan later, played by Jason Buckus. The rocket ship didn't take too long to make. It turned out pretty neat. We wanted to kind of make it corny, because that's what we were going for. And you can see I'm in front of the green screen right now. Uh, the green screen was a big part of this video. Gretchen, I think this was the first time we used a green screen, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, we had a lot of difficulty at first. Uh, it's more difficult than it seems, getting the colors right, but as you see right here, in the end, I think we got it to work pretty well. Gretchen was videotaping while I am flying in front of a green screen. Uh, this is Toby and myself working on the second prop. What is this prop? Um, I think it was the, I don't, the time machine. Had yeah, it? this is the time machine. There's a part in the song where the character goes in the time machine to try to catch up with the girl. And we thought it would be easier to make a time machine hat. Uh, through our research, we found out that there were hats. There were actual machines that you go into. So my idea was a hat would be easier. Uh, obviously, you see a lot of tinfoil. Uh, and then with the green screen, and you could see the gadget that it's attached to for electricity. Uh, we were able to pull it off. Do you think we pulled it off, Gretchen? Definitely. Uh, the green screen right now is showing like a mad laboratory I thought that was a good place to show. Uh, there's actually a neat part where Stan, the character, shoots a button and then we disappear. Oh, and then our favorite. What do you think about the running scenes, Gretchen? Oh, they were so much fun. Uh, Gretchen and I must have spent hours just running back and forth in this green screen. Uh, I'm telling Gretchen, run slower, run slower. Uh, so we relied on a lot of editing to speed it up to, to exactly what we we're looking for. Uh, you could see the green screen was in your apartment, was it? Yes, it was my apartment your apart for many days. Your apartment looked like a set for a while. It sure did. Uh, we had a good time with the green screen. You could see right now, here are some clips that never made it to the video. This is us running in front of the green screen with some three-dimensional backgrounds. I thought they worked out pretty cool. That one did make it in the video, didn't it? I think it did. SpongeBob, SpongeBob was my Bob favorite. Why, did did, why didn't we use SpongeBob? I don't know, because SpongeBob's my favorite too. Yeah. Now here was a spot where we were running together in the same frame, which was really difficult because we didn't have much room, did we? No, not at all. We didn't have much room. And, and at this point, I was in the time machine, and it dropped me off right where she is, so we had to be in the same scene. Uh, oh, it's the plant with eyes. There's a, a part where the... The female character's father made all these inventions for me, and one of his projects was a plant with eyes, played by Jason Buckhiss. It would be the father of your character, Gretchen. And we didn't end up using the plant because it meshed in with the green screen. Uh, the green screen is green, and the plant was green, so it didn't work. So we relied on somebody else's artwork for this, and you could see Jason <laughs> pouring the water in, which accidentally just happened to be right there in the pot. Uh, we didn't know it was going to work out that way. That's Stan. Stan is nobody more than the guy that pushes the button to make the time machine work. And it's also Jason. And it's Jason Buckus as well. Uh, and we kind of liked Stan because uh, he had a cigarette in his mouth and we thought that was funny. This would be the lip singing in front of the green screen. Um, another challenge because when you're editing you have to make sure that your words are matching the words of the song. We used two pieces for that, a farm and this road. Uh, who was videotaping? That would be me. I think that was you. He did a good job. Many takes, though. 
And then when we got away from the green screen, we took the video to the streets of Pittsburgh. And not only did we run around the city with all of these crazy costumes, but we had to film it ourselves too, because it was just Gretchen and I for the longest time. So I would do a part and she would film and then we would switch and we had fun. Uh, we looked pretty weird. Anybody that watches the video always says, what did people think when you were running around the strip district in that wig? Uh, but nobody really said anything. I think, uh, I think they're getting used to us down there. That's I did get a compliment about my wig when we were at the waterfront, though. Your wig looks good. We decided to do uh, wigs because the last couple of videos we kind of appeared as ourselves, and that was getting a little bit monotonous. So we decided to make some goofy characters to match the goofiness of the song. Uh, th where are you running there? I'm running through the strip district, right through a, like a vegetable marketplace and that's PNC Park mm -hmm. right there I believe there's a scene where you're you're hiding behind the statue of PNC I'm Park. hiding behind and that would be Willie Stargell Willie Stargell and we tried oh, right there, 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 there I am Willie Stargell and you, and you did a really good job hiding uh on his leg because mm -hmm. you had to like form your body a special way just to fit behind there this is the strip district in the back where you park a nice view of the city I think the balloon really made the character come alive in this. He, he just wanted to give this girl this balloon. And I uh, just couldn't catch up with her. So he had to use a lot of her dad's inventions to catch up with this girl. In the end, did he catch up with the girl? Well, we don't want to spoil it on you. Uh, here's a spot where she, was, where she was hiding. Shooting scenes at home. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is Gretchen tying her shoe because we thought it would be a great way to start the movie because she's running through the whole scene of the movie. So we started it with the tying of the shoe. What's going on here, Gretchen? I'm getting ready to start my run. Start your run. I believe you stop right here and I say, hey, turn around. Oof, there it is. And then we used a lot of speeding up, a lot of speeding forward in the editing. That was that was a big part of this video, and there I am, kind of like, get back here. Um, I think we're getting to the point where we shot some scenes in your apartment. Uh, we used uh, Jason Buckus's girlfriend, Kristen. Kristen played Gretchen's mom, who makes pork roast, and I don't like pork roast. So I eat, what did I eat? You ate. Um, French toast, French toast and Dairy Queen. And Dairy Queen. And there I am. I have a picture of you shot in front of CVS the day we uh, had it developed. And that's just to give the audience an idea that I'm going after her. There's my French toast. It was frozen. Uh, that was a uh, Cool Whip lid that looks like vanilla ice cream. That was perfect. I don't know if you could see that, but there's tin foil under the cups with real Cool Whip. Oh, I just lost my ice cream. And here's some still frames. How does it end? That's a good question. How does it end? Well, it ended with me trying to throw this rope and get it attached to her. And boy, we took like 20 shots of this because I just couldn't get the rope to go. And there I am obviously pulling her in and giving her the balloon finally boy you I look, look thrilled yeah you look really happy especially for four days of shooting trying to give you this thing you think you would smile thanks for watching the video and keep checking YouTube for more songs and videos to come